YouTube, everyone's favorite weapon tester, Blinken, back with another video. In today's video, I bring you my top three long-range weapons for Season 6 of Warzone. Now, as I record this video, they are revealing Modern Warfare 3 at COD Next, but I'm going to keep you guys informed on what is the meta for the rest of Warzone 2 as we play out this wonderful game. But without further ado, I'm going to get right into the stats, as always, with Sim.gg. Now, there's been a lot of talk on my Twitter page around my style of weapon testing and the comparisons between myself and some of the some of the bigger names in the industry like True Game Data and Sim.gg and I just want to address that I absolutely love and respect what those guys are doing I think their content is absolutely phenomenal it's trustworthy it's resourceful I I don't discredit anything that they do I absolutely recommend using that type of content or that style of content or information to determine what you're going to use as meta in this game i do believe it's apples to oranges i think my style is completely different i test in game i do multiple tests to rule out as many variables as i can i time everything i slow it down to 0.1x speed make sure that everything is accurate that i'm hitting appropriate shots for practical ttk a lot of time, energy, and effort go into my content, as I know a lot of time, energy, and effort go into their content. So I respect what they're doing. Uh, it is what it is that, that people are comparing us. That's what that's whatever. Um, it's it's kind of humbling to be mentioned in the same, you know, in the same style of content with those uh, large creators. But appreciate all of you for the support. If you do like this content, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe with notifications turned on so you always know when I'm uploading content just like this. Share the video with a friend and leave a comment below. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next one. Much love. So as I mentioned, I'm going to get into the stats here. Now, Sim.gg doesn't currently have the Geist or all of their TTKs updated, so I'm using True Game Data. Uh, once again, True Game Data does a different style of data mining, and they put together TTKs based on damage profiles multipliers uh, the work that he does is incredible so I'm just gonna go through his TTK chart as you know I get different results sometimes I get the same results sometimes when I do my practical TTK testing um, so I'm gonna rank my top three based on my feel for practical TTK average TTK recoil there's a lot of things that go into my top three but as you can see here between 30 and 50 meters the cast off 762 is gonna give you the best time to kill on average uh, theoretical TTK, then really anything over 50 meters, the TAC, V, and the Geist are very close. The TR-76 Geist is the new AR. It's very close with the TAC, V, over 50 meters. Cast off 762 drops off. But all three of these weapons are going to give you incredible TTK. If you can learn the recoil patterns, you're going to win most of your gunfights, long engagements, outside of 20 meters. Obviously, as you can see, inside of 25 meters, the Geist is going to reign supreme. Uh, it is very effective with iron sights in those mid to long range gunfights. I've been absolutely loving the TR-76 Geist and it's my absolute meta right now. But as you can see, the cast off 762 is also very good. The TAC V, known for a little heavier recoil, is really a straight vertical recoil pattern. It's very easy to control. And same with the cast off 762. So if you can get them down, you're going to be very effective and dangerous on the map. Now let's get into the builds. So coming in at number three is the battle rifle, the TAC V. Uh, for this build, we're going with the Tempest GH50 for maximum vertical recoil control, tuned for recoil stabilization and recoil control. FTAC Ripper 56 underbarrel, tuned for recoil stabilization and aim idle stability. Throwing on the 50 round drum, the AMOP V4 optic, as always, the Heliotrope variant, tuned for ADS speed and far. And again, to get that, that skin on the AMOP V4, you just have to go into the optics. I think I passed it. And then you just click on skins and then you select the heliotrope. And then the FSS combat grip tuned for recoil steadiness and aim idle stability. I don't know why this was untuned. Now, if you don't have an issue with the recoil, you can throw on the barrel. I opt to go without the barrel because I think the gun hits hard enough without it. I think the range is good and I like the recoil pattern better with the FSS combat grip. But if it doesn't bother you, drop the grip. Throw on the 18 inch precision barrel and tune that for recoil steadiness and damage range. Right about there. 
Now coming in at number two is the cast off 762. Now this has really been interchangeable for me with the Geist. Kind of one and two or one A and one B. I like them both. I think the Geist is a little bit better, but the cast off 762, even after the nerf, is still insane. For this build, we're going with the Tempest GH50 muzzle, tuned for recoil stabilization and recoil control. The Cast 10 584 millimeter barrel, tuned for recoil steadiness and damage range. FTAC Ripper 56 underbarrel tuned for recoil stabilization and aim idle stability. 40 round mag, and then again the Heliotrope Aim OP V4 tuned for ADS speed and bar. And then, of course, coming in at my number one or absolute meta is TR76 Geist. I absolutely love it. It's insane at long range. There's almost no recoil on it, especially when you throw on the horizontal recoil control muzzle. It's got a very good bullet velocity. Very good damage. It's got a 45 round mag. And it's reminiscent a little bit of the AMAX from uh, Warzone 1. So for this build, we're rocking the TYLR8 muzzle. Tuned for recoil stabilization and recoil control. The Bruin Bridal Heavy Barrel. Tuned for recoil steadiness and damage range. FTAC Ripper 56 Underbarrel. Tuned for recoil stabilization and aim idle stability. And then I personally am throwing on the high velocity ammo. Tuned into that for recoil smoothness and bullet velocity. You can take off the ammo and throw on a rear grip if you would like. I've been using this Stip 66 grip interchangeably with that ammo, but I, I personally don't think it needs a rear grip. And then the 45 round mag. Now, there are a lot of other good options, I will say, within the Season 6 meta. Uh, for all my builds, be sure to download the Warzone Loadouts COD Community app and follow me there at Blinken. You can get all of my builds I think there are currently around a little over 80 loadouts that I have on the COD Community app. I hope this information helps. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next video. Much love.